guys welcome back to the video so in my previous video i was talking about different types of cancers and how do these tumors develop so in this video we'll talk about teratoma and its forms so let's get started so as you can see uh, these teratomas are not normal because these are tumors after all so out of the, so out of the atypical tumor types teratomas are arguably the most bizarre of all in part because they defy all attempts at classifications. So where are these teratomas formed and how they are seen? So teratomas seem to arise from germ cells, egg and the sperm, precursors that fail to migrate to their proper destination during embryonic development and persist at atopic sites in the developing fetus. So these are developed from the germ cells, all right? So which can be egg or the sperm that fail to migrate to the proper, des uh, proper destination during the embryonic development and they remain at inappropriate sites in the developing fetus. So they retain the pluripotency of early embryonic cells and have the ability to generate most and possibly all the tissues present in the fully developed fetus. Also cells in different uh, sectors of common mature teratomas which are largely benign localize growth differentiate to create tissues that are very similar to those found in variety of adult tissues. So these are known as teratomas. So I have another slide for you which shows the picture how it looks like. So, so this is how a teratoma looks like. So there are different places in the body where these teratomas are formed. So of the special interest is the fact that a careful karyotypic karyotypic and molecular analysis of benic mature teratoma have indicated that the associated tumor cells are genetically wild type. So this is a very important feature that these types of tumors, so teratoma types of tumors are wild type and these are not heterozygous. All right. So these are pretty much uh, wild type in nature and this, this suggests that such uh, teratoma cells are unique being the only type of tumorogenic cells whose genomes are truly wild type in contrast to the cells of other tumor types which are which carry multiple genetic aberrations. So this is a very important feature of teratomas. So as we know these arise from germ cells, mainly uh, arise from germ cells which can be egg or the sperm. So which uh, cannot travel to the appropriate sites and get accumulated at inappropriate sites of the fetus. All right. And these are of wild type. So these are genetically of wild type. Uh, regardless of however it is or wherever it is formed and it shows difference with other types of tumor cells which carry multiple genetic aberrations. So let's just keep this video till here. I'll be back with another video very soon. So thanks for watching.